We're riding straight into the largest sand desert of the world, Rubal Kali. That's part of the empty quarter. It's 1,000 kilometers long and 5,000 wide. Even the nomads avoid the enormous desert heat, climbing up to 55 degrees Celsius on a bad day. This is true Bedouin country, the wild frontier of Yemen. In this jurisdiction, there's no law about the tribal tradition and of course the Sharia, the rules of Islam. You definitely need some contacts to travel here. Tää tippuu koko ajan tää kenkä. Ei tästä tuu hevon vittu tästä tausta taas kerran vittu. If I fall down from this camel, I will kill personally many people. <laughs> or many, oh no, many camels and you. Anything which has more than two legs, I wish to meet only at my plate. 15 minuuttia maksimissaan mun perse antaa myötä ja <laughs> Everi hanuri riku, paska maakari. Look at those, two brothers. Ai vittu, että sattuu saatana. Ah, it's it's mutual. I hate them, they hate me. Some Bedouins have carried out most of the kidnappings of foreigners as a way to protest against the government. Failed promises of improving electricity, roads or economic resources are the main reasons. However, mostly the kidnapped have been treated very well and soon released. These guys hardly seem international terrorists like lots of people in the West would like to believe. Hopefully things will stay this way when we finally reach the Bedouin camp. So Ibrahim, is it still long for? After one hour we will reach the camp. Okay, one hour. So we made it around the checkpoint. It's time to abandon the humps. I'm very happy about it. My ass is on fire and I'm a little bit angry as well. <laughs> a little bit. Shukran! Afwan! Shukran! Saruh. This is Saruh. 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 Okay. And uh, one, two. Hey, this one. Yeah. Two, 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 two. This, 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 this. this one. Yeah, yeah. Ali Rusi. Ali Rusi. Kalashnikov. Here in tribal Yemen, you can't travel without spotting some boys with toys. By estimate, in the country of 23 million people, there's more than 60 million personal weapons. Pistols, AK-47s, hand grenades and even bazookas. Traditionally, guns are means of defense and status symbols as well. Saro. A traveler doesn't have to worry too much about this. The local philosophy on guns is quite rational and weapons are not easily raised. The government is working on the gun control and advancing little by little. Nowadays you have to check your blasters when entering the cities. But not here. This is Bedouin country. Tamam, wana. Tamam. 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 Same tribe. Same tribe. Ruhal. Ruhal. You say this is the village. We will live in this village. This camp. Hey, salam alaikum. I'll break cups. Okay. I'll break cups. Hey, cups. I'll break up field cups. Tamam. Hey, tamam. Tamam. This is our final destination, the Bedouin camp of the Shawa tribe. I'll break. I'll break. According to the common belief in the West, <laughs> according to the common belief in the West, this is supposed to be in the dangerous Yemen, one of the most feared regions. We traveled this far to find out if there lies another truth behind the horrifying headlines. Tamam al break. Cups. 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 It's time for a picnic. A la Bedouin.
Mad Sir. No. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to Mad Cook and our ever continuing journey to the unthinkable culinary arts of the human kind. In this edition, we separate a sheep from its liver and proceed to eat the offensive organ. The preparation is simple. The organ is ripped off to nourish uh, one to three starving tribesmen. Mubarak here is not really cooking. He is not using any spices. Mostly, it just seems to be handy with his knife. Splendid. And all you mad cooks at home worrying about the intricacies of the cookery, or in this case, the lack of it. Don't you worry at all. Throw your pencils to the corner. The recipe will be found at our website, Madventures TV. Okay, enough with the chit chat. Is it Tunna or I who gets to test this mouth-watering munch? As always, the decision is left to the rock, paper, scissors. Tunna, are you ready? Yes, ready. One, two, three, and that's it. One, two, three! <laughs> Winner takes it all. Winner takes it all, and I'm gonna take this. Mubarak. Hey. Sid Mubarak. Bismillah. Uh, Bismillah. 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 You know what? Yeah. It tastes like one of the best sashimi I've ever tasted. No. Really? Really? This is really good. Oh, good. Mm. Tamam. Tahim. 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 Ladid. Ladid. Tahim. Lahma. Tahim. Bismillah. 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 Tahim! 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 In the Western media, Yemen is many times seen as a violent society where tribal tensions flare easily into conflicts. But statistically, Yemen probably has less violent crime than the country you're watching this right now. They used to call this place Felix Arabia, Happy Arabia, Fertile and Productive Arabia. And despite the draw, despite the guns, despite our own prejudices, this is exactly what we witnessed. A land of endless hospitality and beauty. Tunna, got something to add? Fear is the mind killer. Don't let it stop you from experiencing the world. That's right. And now it's time for the eternal traveler to enjoy the land of milk and honey, while the next mad adventures are awaiting. Akram Kumalla, Masalama.